So what I'll do here is make sure that we have a panel that looks cool. So we'll come here and we do a panel primary. Primary. And then uh, we will call this uh, my companies. Or companies. This is companies. So this is companies. And then we will have to, since we're going to use a loop here, we'll just remove all the all the rest of them except one. Then we'll try and use our loop. We'll just do at for each. And uh, if you look at the company's controller here, the name of the val 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 variable that we're looking for is companies. So we'll just say uh, companies for each. Um, dollar sign, dollar sign, dollar sign, as company, dollar sign company. Okay, and um, this is how to write for each statement in Blade. All right, so um, you, these things will just uh, get you get familiar with all this as you go forward. So you do add for each and for each. So this ends the forage. Then inside here, we'll now start passing the variables. Uh, so we'll just do twice of this. And we can now start saying things like uh, the company we're looking for company slash name. All right. So um, I hope you understand what just happened here. Because what we did was we just had um, for each company's variable we're receiving for each item there, uh, we just pick one of the items and then display the name property inside it. All right. So if there were other properties, this is how you access properties inside this. So we'll just save. Make sure your stuff is saved. Go to our browser and refresh. And um, that pretty much sorts it out, as you can see, company. But then we don't have any company yet, and this is too wide. So what we can do is to quickly come to our code and um, here we can just say colon call md if it's a medium sized system or laptop uh, it should make sure that the the size is six also if it's a large laptop call md call lg if it's a large uh, system or screen it should make sure that the size is six six is half of the screen and 12 is the full length okay any number between one and six or one and 12 is just less than 12. all right this is the kind of thing we have now we can better format it afterwards but what we can, what we should do right now is to go and create a company dummy company in our database and see whether it will actually show here right so i'm going to open my database i'll open a new tab as long as your warm server is running make sure that your warm server is running and uh, if I open a new tab, I'll say localhost PHP my admin. You know how to start your WAMP server, I believe you know, but in case you don't know, just go to your uh, start menu and type WAMP server. As you type it, it will show up here. Then you click it once and wait. Uh, you can wait for between one to five minutes for it to turn green. Once it turns green, then it's running. So once it's running, we can just log in and uh, go to our database and um, add dummy companies so i am inside my database now i'll look for the companies table and um, there it is i'll go to structure oh oops i'll go to browse so once this opens so um i'll go to insert we're trying to insert um companies directly from here so we can you leave out this field because it's on auto increments but then this one the name of the company we can say king's block I'm just guessing the name of this company of Berkshire Hathaway. I remember Berkshire Hathaway. So there's a description, so we can just put a description and say this is one of the largest companies in the world. In the world, owned by Warren Buffett. Cool. So we add a second company and just say that the name is super soft. This is one of the largest medical companies in the world. 
owned by Bill Mario. All right, so we're done. We can now hit go. Okay, uh, we're just gonna create the user. Which user created this? Just to make everything consistent in a database. This user ID, we can just say user ID one, the first user we signed up, and then these two fields will be automatically filled by Laravel or by the app. So we just say user ID one, and that's okay. If we wanted to add that they created at points, we can just select that in, and then the same thing up here. Just select the date um, when this video is being made. All right, cool. So we can now say click on go. We've created two dummy. Um, as you can see, it is successful. So if we click on browse right now, we will see that uh, we've created two dummy um, companies. So if we get back to a Laravel code, what then happens? So if we get back to a Laravel code and reload, as you can see, we now have two companies here. Our next task is to make it a link. That, so that when the when it's clicked, it takes someone to the view page where you see the details of the company and everybody subscribe in the company. But then our uh, CSS is not cool yet. So what we can do is um we have to add the everything inside one div. Then then um just to make everything cool, I'm going to copy this. So you guys shouldn't mind that I'm making mistakes when I'm typing. I can't see my keyboard right now, the, the place it is. I can't see it, so I'm typing blindly. So we're going to do a div. I'm going to do a class. And inside that class, we're going to paste this. So um, that is the cool way to do this. Then we're going to add a div at the bottom. So let me just quickly put everything here in the middle. All right, so this is how it works. You, you put your panel inside a div. That, that's the way to remove this uh, panel little space here. So if I refresh, as you can see, it now looks cool. One more thing we can do is to try and center it, okay? So to uh, we have to offset it. We can just say if it is um, a laptop screen or just a mid screen, um, medium size screen, I think like 15 inches, um, it should offset it by two two and we'll do the same thing for last screen so we'll have to test first we'll just do a refresh and it's in the middle or almost in the middle all right uh, we can now do the same thing for large screens we want large screens to also be in the middle so we'll just do the same thing call um like i said i can't see my keyboard so um Forgive me if I missed some letters sometimes. Call LG, um, do offset. Offset. I like to put this as at three or three. Then some other thing we can do just to make everything cool is that we actually have to add a container here, row. Um, but I prefer to put it outside here. So if you come here, we have to put this content inside a container so we just say container row and then so we have these two guys all right so just for a properly formatted uh, bootstrap tag so we have this so uh, basically these are solved our problem let's just confirm and I'll see you in the next video where we work out other things cool so it's in the middle and then everything is looking cool. So see you in the next video. I hope you understand how these things work right now. And um, 